Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Naomi and thanks so much for clicking to watch another video. Let's get into this fall inspired makeup, fall glam, quick makeup tutorial. It's not really a tutorial, I'm just telling you guys what I'm using to achieve this look. So if you're interested in seeing the fall look that I come up with, then just go ahead and keep on watching. So I'm going to start off with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I always start off with primer first, just to get that on my face and make it um, ready for me to, you know, put my foundation and other makeup on. So I'm just gonna smooth this on my face. So next, I am gonna go ahead and do my brows first, just because you guys can kind of see I need my eyebrows done. They need to be threaded because there is some growth, just a little bit of growth like underneath my um, eyebrows and I don't wanna pluck them. And I'm just gonna do them first so that it's easier to conceal them before I put on my foundation. So I'm just gonna do my brows really quick and I'm using the Revolution Pro, um, I think this is, it's a brow pencil, but it looks like this. It's called Ultra Defining Brow Prince Pencil or something like that, and this is in the shade Dark Brown. So I just brushed my eyebrows up, and now I'm just gonna fill them in, or outline them first and then fill them in. To clean up my brows, I'm gonna go in with this NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop um, Concealer, and this is in the shade Mocha. And I'm just gonna throw this on the back of my hand, just like that. And then I'm gonna use this Morphe M421 brush, and it's flat, like that, to just go in with the concealer and pretty much sculpt underneath my um, under eye just to clear, just to <laughs> not clear it up, but clean up underneath my eyebrows. Alrighty, now that my brows are all cleaned up, 
Um, they can still use a little bit of work. It's I'm not done yet. This is just the cleaning up process. I'm gonna go ahead and take that same NYX concealer and apply that on my eyelids as the base for my eyeshadow. And I'm gonna go ahead and do my, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this step first, just because I know that I'm going to do a little eyeshadow um, for my look today. So I'm just gonna take this, this is a Morphe M173 brush like this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that onto my eyelid just to, like I said, prep before I put on my eyeshadow. And I'm not gonna go too crazy with eyeshadow. I'm just gonna do like a super duper easy, basic fall look, but um, I do just want like a nice even base for my eyeshadow. And now to go ahead and set my eyelids in place, I'm gonna use this Laura Mercier setting powder, and this is in the shade medium deep. And I'm just gonna put that on a brush and pat that onto my eyelids, just so that when I apply my eyeshadow, it'll be easier to blend. This is easier to blend on powder than it is on liquid. So I'm just laying this down. Ready now for eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Jackie Ina palette that she collaborated with, with um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I haven't used this in a minute, and I feel like I used this like one or two times, but um, this is what the palette is looking like. I'll show you guys. So there she is. And this palette, I don't know, it screams fall to me, especially in this section right here. Pretty much the whole thing really, but mainly um, this kind of section right here. So I'm going to, let's see, probably gonna take a fluffy brush and start with, um, let's start with Ginger. So Ginger is this like orange shade over here. I'm gonna start with Ginger and I'm going to apply that kind of low on my lid. So I'm doing like the lower, the lower half of my lid just to kind of see how this shade looks. I forgot how this shade looks. And I am patting it first, just to kind of apply it on there, just to see how it's showing up before I kind of go crazy. But it looks like it's gonna be good. So let's be a little bit more heavy handed. And y'all, please do not come for me <laughs> at all. I am literally not the best eyeshadow person. I just come up with looks like as I see it, I guess, or as I go. Um, I'm not like the best at eyeshadow. I already know that. <laughs> so yeah, don't come at me in the comments. I'm doing the best I can. But I did start to put this um, ginger shade all over my lid pretty much. And so I'm just making sure to blend it, blend it pretty well. So that's how it's looking in comparison to my other eye. If you guys can see that. But I really do like this though. Let me go ahead and apply it to the other eye. So that is Ginger in the eyelids. And that was cute, but I think I wanna go in with the shade Edges just to make it a little bit more fall. I was gonna go in with Credit up there, but that looks a little bit darker. Um, and I don't think I wanna go that dark, or maybe I'll use that to like line my uh, lash line later. But I'm gonna go in, like I said, with Edges and I'm kinda um, focus that on like this outer part of my eye here. I am gonna use the same brush, so I'm just gonna wipe off this brush real quick and then go into the shade edges.
And then I am gonna go in with that shade Credit, but I'm gonna use a smaller brush. Hopefully I can find one. The Morphe 408, I'm just full of Morphe brushes today, but it looks like this and it's pretty thin on the, on the tip of it. And I'm gonna go in with Credit, but I'm gonna use that to line my um, lash line, like I said. So I'm just gonna go right above my lash line and pretty much use it as an eyeliner. So that is how the eyes are looking like now. Super cute, super duper simple. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and actually, I think I wanna finish up the eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my eyelashes as well. And before I do, I'm going to um, kind of comb up my lashes with this lash comb. This is by Sonia Kashik. And I don't even know if they sell this anymore. I got this like a while ago, this brush thing is super old but I'm just gonna comb up my eyebrow or eyelashes and then I'm gonna coat my lashes with what is this bad gal bang by benefit and I'm not gonna put a lot on there like I said I am gonna put on some lashes so I'm just putting a thin coat on these just so my eyelashes will blend in a little bit better with the falsies that I apply Anybody else make a super crazy face when you're applying mascara? Like, I make the ugliest face. I'd be like, Expect, don't let me do my bottom lashes. I'll probably do those off camera. <laughs> Alrighty, so I got both of my lashes on and these are Ardell Demi Wispies and it doesn't say the lash style on here. It just says black. These are the, this is the container. Um, but yeah, these are, this is like just like a natural uh, Demi Wispy lash by them. So yeah, okay, let's move on to the face. Finally, I'm gonna be using this Urban Decay Foundation and this is um, the Hydro Maniac tinted what does it say tinted glow hydrator and this is in the shade 81 deep so that's what i'm gonna be using just gonna give it a shake i've been liking this one so far too and i really don't like hydrating like foundations at all but i've actually really been liking this one so i'm gonna go ahead and take this on another morphe brush and it's like a bigger brush it's the morphe m403 so I'm just gonna apply some to the back of my hand real quick. And we're just going to go in.
I'm going to go in with the concealer again. And I'm using, still using the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer in Mocha. Is it Mocha? Yeah, in Mocha. And then I'm going to apply this right underneath my eyes. And then I always do bridge of nose, my forehead, and then my chin. Like that, a straighter line. Okay, there we go. Put a little bit of more on my shoulder too. And all of this is just one, um, one like pull or yeah, one one applicator amount, I guess, of the um, concealer. So I don't go back in and apply more, go back and apply more after every place. So I'm just gonna let this sit for just a few. I'm going to use this um, Jaclyn Hill with Morphe brush and it's JH08. And it looks like this. It's nice for blending out concealer. So I'm gonna start at my chin and work my way up, leaving my under eyes for last. So I like to bend in my mouth and just blend in that concealer. Like that. I know my chin is like the less, <laughs> least noticeable place, but I don't know, I still like to put it there anyway. Then I make my way up my nose and I kind of use like the side of the brush for my nose. Just tap, 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 tap. Blend that out. And then I work that way up to my forehead and make sure to really blend this out as well. Okay, looking good, looking good. Cute, cute, cute. Now I go ahead and blend my under eye out. I don't go as dark or as um, bright as I used to with my eye, like under eye concealer. I sometimes do, but still, even when I do like do brighter than this, it's not even that bright for real. Like <laughs> it's not much brighter than this. I might go like a shade up from this maybe but I don't know I just haven't been going for like the dramatic um you know super light under eye concealer I've just been doing more natural stuff and plus I'm at home like I don't go anywhere y'all like I'm working in the office a couple of days a week but other than that like I do not I really do not <laughs> leave the house um like right now it's about like seven almost eight o'clock at night and all i'm gonna do is take this off and go to bed so yeah i really don't go anywhere but when i do this is usually the base um especially base makeup eyeshadow look can change of course but this is usually the base shadow that i'll always do or the base um foundation like base look that i'll always do but before i set it i'm gonna go in with my foundation brush and just go around the perimeter even though it's blended in pretty nicely, but I'm still gonna go around the perimeter of everywhere that I put that concealer, just to triple check that the concealer is nice and blended. Don't want any lines of demarcation or anything like that. So yeah, just gonna go around the perimeters. Not really trying to disturb the coverage, but like I said, I'm just going around the perimeters of where I applied all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and set my concealer and I'm actually gonna use this Fenty Beauty powder and this is in the shade honey um I haven't used girl I have not used my sis Fenty in a minute like I feel like I need to shake it up a little bit but yeah I haven't used Fenty in a minute actually or have I I don't know maybe I have I don't remember <laughs> I feel like I haven't, but um, yeah, so I'm just gonna use another brush again to go into that. And actually before I do that, I'm gonna take my concealer brush again and just make sure I push under my eyes one last time right before I go into the concealer, just to make sure that everything is blended out as much as possible. 
And then I'm dipping into that Fenty powder and then I'm going to set. So I'm basically patting that powder into my under eye. Same thing on the other side. And then I'm gonna do any excess on my nose, on my forehead. Basically the other places that I put the concealer and on my chin. And you guys can see how I left a little bit of the excess powder just to sit there for a second while I blend the remainder in, especially making sure I get on my nose. Nose and this area gets shiny too, real quick. Okay, and then I'm gonna take just a little bit more and put it on the corners of my nose. So on this side and on this side. And then I'm also going to take a little bit more and put on my laugh lines or smile lines, those right there. I'm like puffing out like that. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and go underneath my under eye and tap, kind of tap that in Pat it in some more. Ooh, uh, I miss this Fenty Beauty powder, y'all. This powder be making like look how look how filtered that looks. Okay, okay, Fenty, I forgot about y'all. Doing the same thing on the other side, just patting this in, making sure there's none sitting on the top of my skin. Patting. Oh wow, that looks good. That looks real good. Real cute, real cute. And then I actually, what should I do? I might take this all over my skin. I think I will. So I'm going to get a, let's get a fluffy brush and, should I use this one or the other one? Yeah, let's get this fluffy brush. This is a clean one. Okay, so I'm getting just any old fluffy brush and I'm going into, I have a little bit in the um, top of it and I'm just gonna dab the brush in there and I'm tapping it off like a lot because I don't want it to deposit a lot of powder on my face. And I'm just gonna set the rest of my face with it. So I'm gonna lightly, oh yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna lightly just pat that powder into the rest of my face to set all over. Oh, wow. Yeah, it like I just put a filter on my face. Like, what? Let's put some bronzer on. So I'm going to use a bronzer that I haven't used in a minute. And it is the Makeup Revolution Glow Bronzer. Is it? Oh no, Revolution Glow, Glow Bronzer. And this one is in the shade Dark. And this is how they look. And then this is how the bronzer looks, which, will that even bronze me? Probably will. Yeah, let's use this one. So I'm gonna grab this. BH Cosmetics brush, and this is like a number three. It has like a, a cute marble handle. Um, but any fluffy brush or whatever you wanna use for bronzing will do. So I'm just gonna go into this color and we're gonna see if it's gonna show up on me. Oh yeah, I feel like that would show up for sure. Oh yeah. Yeah, that shows up for sure. Okay. Hmm. Can you see it? Maybe. I see it, at least. <laughs> I don't wanna add too much. Like, let me add, oh yeah, you can kinda see it. All right, I'm like, let me add a little tester amount, but you can see it, definitely can see. It. it almost looks like blush. It's coming off a little, little red-ish, which I'm not mad at, but it's coming off a little blush, blush-like. This is cute. Now I'm not gonna add too much of this, but I'm just gonna put this in the perimeter or on the perimeter of my face, like where I always would bronze at. This is cute. It's actually really cute. I'm going to pinch the brush, pinch the, br pinch the, br pinch the brush. I didn't add any more product to it, but I'm just gonna take whatever's left like on the sides of my nose 
just to bronze up give me a little nose contour without like putting contour there on purpose so just using the excess just like that okay cute 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 now i'm gonna go back in with that fluffy face brush face brush that i used and i'm just gonna make sure to blend that all together i feel like i put a lot of bronzer on my forehead so i'm just trying to make sure that's all blended in well and there's not like a straight line coming across my face so just gonna make sure i blend that all out make sure there are no harsh lines or anything like that now with the same brush that i used to apply my bronzer i'm gonna apply this um, blush by elf and it's in the shade brick red so this is how that looks i'm just gonna dab my brush into there and apply the blush and i like to apply my blush now that i'm using it over my nose a little bit not too much but you know just like dab it over my nose, just like that, just like that area. And this kind of has a little bit of a highlight in it as well, like some shimmer sparkles, but cute. You can see the blush, you can see the blush. <laughs> I am going to um, go ahead and set my face though before I finish up my eyebrows and my eyes. So I'm going to use I think I might use this Morphe Continuous Setting Spray or Setting Mist. And this looks like, I don't know, this is like a limited edition one for some reason, but I don't know. It's just the Morphe, the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. So I'm gonna apply some of that. Um, I'm gonna finish off my eyes and I was gonna add an eyeliner underneath my eyes, but I don't really like eyeliners like that underneath my eyes. Like I feel like it ends up making my eyes look um, muddy under there somehow. So I'm not gonna add that today, but I am gonna go back in with the um, Bad Gal Bang Mascara by Benefit. And I'm just gonna apply that on my lower lashes. Here I go about to make those faces, so I'll be back. Okay, so I did add some mascara to my bottom lashes, even though you probably can't see it because I have little bitty baby lashes. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my eyebrows. So I am gonna go back into um, the uh, eyebrow pencil that I was using, but I'm just gonna use the spoolie portion and I'm just going to brush, especially the front of my brows. I'm just gonna brush those into position because after this, I'm gonna apply my um, my brow setting gel, that's what it's called, gel. So I'm just kind of brushing those up, making sure they look as natural. And you want to do this very, very lightly because <laughs> you don't want to mess up or disturb any of the makeup or anything like that. But I feel like doing this afterwards pretty much helps to brush some of the product, like the foundation or the powder that you used, and it brushes it into your brows and makes it look less harsh. Like at least for me, it um, kind of, yeah, it makes it look, makes the brow look a little less harsh than it otherwise would. I'm gonna use the Benefits 24 Hour Brow Setter. I think I got that name right. 24 Hour Brow Setter, so it looks like that. So I'm gonna use this on my brows and basically just comb that product through. So one of my favorite, favorite lip liners of all time, which if you know me, if you watch any of my <laughs> other makeup YouTube videos or even on Instagram when I would do like makeup looks randomly, I would use this lip liner and it is the NYX. <laughs> NYX Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade Espresso. Look how tiny this is. I have like three backups, but I'm not done with this one yet. So I'm just gonna line my lips with this. So that is how that lip liner is looking like, my all-time favorite lip liner. So I'm gonna try this um, Sephora, what is this called? Lip Honey's Colorful Gloss Balm, and this is in 
Manuka, so like Manuka honey. This is how it looks. And I think this shade is so cute. And I wanna try this on with lip liner. So I think, I feel like I put this on my lips before, but just not with like a full makeup look. I think I didn't have on any um, makeup when I tried it on. So we're gonna see how she looks now. Okay, so I think my lip liner <laughs> kind of turned it, turned it this color because I think it was supposed to be like a lighter color, but I'm not mad at the color that's on my lips. So I feel like I pretty much like rubbed in my lip liner, which I'm not mad at because y'all already know I like my lip liner. So cute. Mm, I think I put too much on because it's a little sticky. Let me use a paper towel to take some off there we go mmm this feels good though just don't put too much oh that's a pretty color okay so I think we are all done with the makeup look let me go ahead and take my tie off and I'll be right back to close out the video alrighty guys so here is the finished look I hope that you guys enjoy it I think I have a tutorial on my hair um, somewhere on my channel it's just a simple like tie back hairstyle um but yeah i hope you guys really enjoyed this video it's not that much of a um, long look at all but it still looks glam it still looks like i did something to my face and i really like how this turned out so um if i'm recording a video or anything like that and i look like this this is probably what i did to achieve this look if you did enjoy this look please go ahead and give me a thumbs up so that i know that you liked it but other than that that is all i have for today's video again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time Bye.